Hi, and welcome to the Agile Academy. In this Agile in Practice talk, we'd like to show you how Agile teams use planning poker and the concept of the wisdom of the crowd to estimate effort required to get the work done. Planning poker is a tool that encourages all team members to contribute to the activity of estimation and share their opinions, thoughts and concerns. Estimation happens after prioritising the work using the Moscow method. It's essential to have the people who are going to do the actual work in the room and they feel empowered to speak. Over the last few days, Susan, the business analyst of the team who are delivering a new employee performance review system for the HR department, has captured the requirements on story cards. Susan and Jen, the product owner, joins the rest of the team to elaborate on the user stories on the story cards. This helps the team to get a better understanding of how much work might be involved so their estimates are more accurate. Bill, the team leader, explains how the team will now start to estimate the work so they can get a high level look at the total effort required. So team, let's play some planning poker. Poker? Bring on the cards! Poker is my favourite game! Planning poker involves a whole team and uses what is called the wisdom of the crowd. As it turns out, a diverse group of people actually get closer to an accurate answer than any one expert. In the same way, planning poker brings multiple diverse expert opinions together. Bill, as the Agile team leader, explains to the team about planning poker, OK, here's how planning poker works. All team members get a deck of planning poker cards. Each card in the deck has a single number on it. If you think the story we are estimating is small and easy to get done, you choose a low number. If you think it requires a lot of effort and the story is big, you pick a card with a high number. As you probably have noticed, the numbers on the cards are not in the order of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This sequence, which is based on the Fibonacci sequence, helps us to take into account the uncertainties that come with estimating large tasks. For example, let's say you are estimating the task of cleaning up one room. If you then need to estimate the task of cleaning up 5 rooms, you can't assume that cleaning up 5 rooms is exactly 5 times the estimate of cleaning up 1. There will be variables such as the size of the room and level of clutter. These details make it more difficult to estimate it precisely. The same is true for stories and tasks on the project. The bigger something is, the more difficult it becomes to estimate with any confidence. Jen, the product owner, reads the first story out. A brief team discussion on the story takes place to bring out the risks and work of each team member involved so that everyone's aware of what the whole team's workload will be to get this story done. Bill continues with his explanation of planning poker. OK guys, now we have gained some knowledge around the story, pick a planning poker card with the number that reflects your view on the size of the story. Now don't show the card yet, just place it face down on the table. All made a choice? Then turn the card over and show your number at the same time. Ready? Turn your card! It seems we mostly agree on this estimate, but there are a couple of people who are at the opposite ends of the sequence. Would you like to explain to the team why you think the story is a 1 or a 5 and then we can revote? After hearing from both parties, the team then play their poker cards again until they reach consensus based on the majority of an average estimate. Susan writes the estimate on a story card, in this case it's 3. Now that we have an estimate for one story, we can then set the rest of the stories against it and come up with a relative estimate for all of them. The team finishes the planning poker game and have all the story cards estimated. They can now plan the work and get started. Thanks for inviting me along guys, this was a great exercise, particularly for me as a product owner to see how the work is estimated. I never thought I'd be playing my favourite game at work. When Agile teams estimate, they don't try to be accurate because change is inevitable. If you want to learn more about Agile, the Agile Academy offers a range of courses delivered by accredited trainers and lots of open source material, which you can find on our website. If you have any questions, also feel free to contact us on our website or drop us a line on Twitter. Thank you and enjoy your Agile journey.